High fashion has gone high tech. Behind the scenes, technology is changing the fabric of fashion from sketches to virtual designs, from sewing machines to 3D printers. So little surprise, Couture has embraced 3D printing as the item du jour. I was looking to really, you know, make the technology of 3D printing as sensuous as I could. So I went to the Queen of Burlesque. Fashion designer Michael Schmidt and architect Francis Bitonti took the fashion world by storm with the world's first fully articulated 3D printed dress for burlesque icon Dita Von Teese. Made from 17 printed pieces with 3,000 articulated joints and over 13,000 Svorsky crystals, this piece of tech couture was designed using every innovative technology at every stage. We took an image of her body, created a virtual Dita in the computer, and Francis Batonti and I worked over Skype. That created the code, which he then sent to Shapeways, and they printed out the parts. Selective laser sintering fused together this nylon design. It was literally built from nylon powder, built from the bed of the machine up. It's a fascinating application of this technology, but is 3D printing a passing fancy or the future of fashion? Here's where this fashion future brushes up with a hard reality. This dress took hundreds of hours to make. It cost well over a hundred grand. And these skills required material science, mechanical assembly, three-dimensional design. Look, this dress may well prove that a future of 3D printing is as imaginary as the fantasy that is Dita Von Teese. I don't see this as the future of fashion. I see this as another tool. It just allows you to create forms that you could not create any other way. For now, this fashionable tech tool remains an experiment in the realm of high fashion. This isn't a dress made to wear, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. This is a flight of fantasy.